Hey loves! So um, as has become the tradition of Mondays, we're going to do another uh, foundation review. So I'm going to get right into it um, because it's going to take me a while to put on my foundation anyway. So I am going to start by priming with my professional just because I have, like I've told you before, I have seen that it helped me a lot um, with breakouts and what have you. And I could have done this off camera, but I don't know. Here we are. Um, what do I have to tell you? So this is probably the first video you're going to see that's actually recorded after I got back. So it's, um, last week you had some videos up that were pre-recorded while I was in Vegas. Um, so I thought I'd take some time to do, I guess, my primer too so I could chat to you guys about the trip that we had, which was honestly just perfect. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but I guess my disclaimer for this week's videos is because like all of my clothes are in the laundry, um, I won't get to change my outfits out for you. I, I think I've told you guys this before, but I record my videos on the weekend and I only had one day this week to record because I didn't get home in time on Saturday to record on Saturday. Um, so you'll see me in this outfit all week and you might see me with a little bit less energy than usual because I'm still sort of recovering from the lack of sleep, but um, it'll be good, it'll be fine. I need to record, I want to record for you guys. So. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay, oh, and I'm going to jump from place to place, so let's hope this these videos make sense. Um, but this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour uh, full coverage foundation. Um, my color that they matched me with at Sephora for the sample that I got was in light medium. Um, I just checked, and it's $38 at Sephora. If you guys can hear the phone in the background, people should know that we're filming. I'm not picking up the phone. Um... $38 for 1.7 fluid ounces, which is more than most foundations. Um, most of the foundations that I've tried out for you guys and that I've even seen are usually one fluid ounce. So in terms of value for how much you get, um, this guy offers a lot more. Um, and let's see how it wears. So it's in terms of consistency, it's a pretty thick. Let's not have a repeat of the Estee Lauder one that got everywhere, but that's sort of the consistency. Of it, I hope you can tell. So it's a pretty solid, um, solid consistency. So I'm gonna, I think, just work it in a little section at a time because I'm scared that it's gonna dry if I don't do that. Oh, I should have smelt it for you guys. I don't, I can't really detect a smell. It seems a little yellow though for my, um, skin tone so for this one we did like color match on the machine um, and they found a match for me so that's how we got this color and it does seem to be blending pretty well um, it feels a little thick but we'll see how that how that translates as we keep going I was telling you about Vegas, right. So, um, we spent a week, it was me and the bestie, and it was my second annual birthday trip. Um, so I know you guys have been really sweet wishing me happy birthday. My birthday is not actually till April, so I will say thank you again for those sweet birthday, birthday wishes, but you'll probably be hearing about my birthday again in April. Um, and, because uh, I'm a big, I love celebrating birthdays, and they mean a lot to me. Um, so... I expect that I'm going to tell you all about it again in April, and I'm actually probably thinking that I want to sort of save up and put money aside and start collecting some things to do a giveaway um, for you guys for being such an important part of um, my life and my happiness this year. I know birthdays are important to me because I like celebrating all the happiness and achievements and all those positive moments. Um, so there will be a giveaway coming up, I'm sure of it. So this is pretty, like, it is full coverage, no doubt about it. I feel like I'm wearing, like, not a mask, but, like, it's just, it's a complete clean slate, so. I'm not sure about this color, though. It does seem like it's pulling a little too yellow for my taste. But, yeah. Um, 
I get distracted as I'm doing this. Right, so it was a great week in Vegas. Uh, we, somebody asked me because um, they don't drink or gamble either, what is there to do in Vegas? And I definitely had my um, fears, I guess, when we went last year for the first time, um, of whether or not I would enjoy it because I don't do those things and what else is there to do in that city. But honestly, I couldn't have been more surprised about how much fun I had last year. Um, and <clears throat> same thing again this year. Vegas is fun and it's becoming so much more family friendly, I feel. Um, like we saw more young families there than I saw sort of people there at a party or do spring break. And so what did we do? We saw a bunch of different shows. Um, we saw like some Sikh shows. We saw, um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen Evil Dead, but it's sort of a movie that they spoofed and done into a musical. Um, that's sort of hilarious. It's, I've told you guys about how much I like Rocky Horror, so it's sort of in that same vein. It's definitely not as crude or strange, but um, it's sort of that kind of um, humor and, and all that kind of stuff. So that one we saw, which was great. Uh, we went to the Shark Reef. Um, we'd been to Siegfried and Roy's um, like secret garden where they have uh, the lions that they used in some of their shows before they stopped the shows, as well as um, some dolphins and stuff. So we've done that last year, so I didn't do that again last this year. Um, we ate so much good food. Serendipities is amazing um, in terms of like their food, food as, as well as uh, their desserts are just phenomenal. So we did that. Um, I did way too much shopping, so you're going to see probably a two-part haul this week about all the stuff. Remember how proud I was about my respectable list? Yeah, it did not stay that respectable, but <laughs> I got a lot of good goodies, so I'll show you guys that. And I don't know, it's like when you're with your best friend, it's just, we just sat and, and enjoyed each other and went on walks and all that kind of good stuff. So I like Vegas because everything is like right there. So you can walk it, you can take cabs, but you don't really need to plan too much ahead of time. You can just sort of wander and see what happens. So, um, yeah. Oh, another place. I know some of you might be going to Vegas. So another place that just opened that is amazing that you should go check out is the link, they call it. So it's just this little, it's on the strip, but you like sort of go in. You can't miss it. You'll see it. Um, sort of across the street from Caesars and they have a bunch of different restaurants They have this place called Brooklyn Bowl, which we lucked out. They were having free bowling that day They have got like some bars and restaurants up there, but they also have like a full bowling alley like a really uh, Ritzy kind of bowling alley, so we got to bowl for free that day, but bowling is decently priced for for the strip I think it's like they do per half hour. I want to say it's like 20 or 25 dollars per half hour including shoe rentals and all that good stuff um so that was really fun, and I would recommend that. There's also a place in Lynx. There's a Sprinkles Cupcakes, which has amazing cupcakes, so you can try those out. And then a place called Purple Zebra, um, which do, uh, like, slushies. So they have a section for non-alcoholic, which is where we hung out, and then a section for alcoholic. And you just buy the tumblers from them and um, go in and, and fill up and mix and match flavors. So that was really fun. And in the desert heat, you need something nice like that. So, um, yeah. Okay. We're talking about foundation, weren't we? So I got my brush. I don't think my brush has ever been this dirty, but um, it's just so full coverage. What do I think of it so far? I think it's too yellow. Um, like, I feel like I look sick. In terms of how it covers my face, though, as I blend you all the mirror, I think it's a nice coverage. I don't feel like it's too cakey, um, even being a full coverage. But... Um, I'm worried that this color is pulling too yellow. Okay, well anyways, um, this, it's now 12.30, I hope you can see that. Probably not. Told you I'm having weird issues with my lighting. But, um, it is 12.30, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face, film a couple more videos, uh, check in, and yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so um, let us touch base with you guys. I know, again, usually when I do these, I like try to have a uniform lip color and, and a different outfit and you're going to pardon the sort of mess of, of videos this week, but it was going to be sort of not perfect videos or no videos at all. So I thought we should get some videos in. Um, it is now 109 and I've got a bunch of texts that you don't need to see, but I hope you can see that it's 109. Again, the glare from this window, I don't know how lighting is working. Take my word for it. It's 109. Um, I put the rest of my makeup on. Um... The one thing they do want to mention is, so I'm obviously wearing a very bright cheek, um, but um, 
I did have more trouble than usual blending it in. I don't usually have that much trouble blending it in, but I don't know if it's the foundation or what have you, but it didn't blend in quite as, as nicely as I'd like. And um, I'm going to come in a little closer. The, these My pores right here are quite heavily emphasized. Um, I'm hoping the HD works in my favor and you can see that. This blush doesn't usually do that, so I'm not loving that. To be fair though, um, it is a nice full coverage without feeling cakey like the Kat Von D one. But, um, I don't know, my fine lines, are, it, it, it's fine, I don't dislike it, I just, um, my blush isn't working the way it usually does, so we'll, we'll see how that wears. Um, as usual, I'm going to try to go outside to make sure that I can see if it oxidizes or not. I'm going to wear it for obviously a little longer, um, and I'll probably just do one more check-in and uh, let you know my final thoughts on it. As always, let me know down below if you guys have tried it out, your thoughts on it, and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll leave it at that. I know I promised you some Vegas chit-chat. I hope I chit-chatted enough in the first portion, but I'll also sort of sprinkle um, top memories and top adventures that we had in my points of positivity throughout this week so you can um, sort of get updated if, if you can't care to know what we were up to but uh, yeah I'm gonna go do a couple things and um, we'll be back for another check-in okay see you in a bit guys okay so let's do our final check-in um, my batteries died my memory cards have filled up twice um, my lighting is all over the place I've got lipstick everywhere everything that could go wrong in a filming day has gone wrong. As my sweet friend Jackie says, the struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. <laughs> Anyways, let's do a final check-in. Um, where is my phone? Okay, I don't know, but the clock next to my bed says it's 2.20, so I've been wearing this foundation for a little while now, usually as long as I've been wearing some other foundations. And my final thoughts. It's definitely a full coverage foundation, no doubt about it. It isn't as cakey as the Kat Von D one, but I also don't find that it's as smooth as the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, I'll come in closer, but like it's definitely creased under my eyes, sort of up here, and my low battery's flashing again. Um, and like in this area where I get some oil, it has worn off, so it's not as long wearing either. Mm, not a perfect color match for me. I don't know, I'm sort of, I don't love this foundation. I think it's nice, it doesn't bug me but it's just not amazing either. Um, if you like it, let me know down below. If you wear it a different way, different application tips or what have you, um, let me know. If there are other foundations that you guys love, also leave those down below. Um, and yeah, those are my final thoughts. If you have any questions, oh, it didn't oxidize. That's, I guess I should tell you, it didn't oxidize. Um, yeah, that's about it. This is flashing at me. I don't think I have any more thoughts to tell you. Let's try three points of positivity. Um, before I leave you be. Um, let's do three experiences from Vegas that were great. Number one has definitely got to be walking up and down the strip. Um, it's always a lot of fun to people watch and enjoy the warmth. We both, Alex is in Boston and I'm here and we all both needed some warm weather so that was awesome um, to do. The second has got to be the bodies exhibit. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it but they have um, ligaments and bones and all that kind of stuff and they just show you the human body and what it's made of and Alex studying to be a vet knows all the really great anatomy and what have you and so having her around was better than having one of their guides around it was just we spent a couple hours in there and it was fun to have her share her passion with me which I really enjoyed. Um, and point number three, I talked about the shows and I love the shows but I guess I also we went to the shark um, aquarium or the shark reef which was really awesome and I really enjoyed that. So those are my three experiences. Before this dies on me, I'm gonna leave you with tons and tons of love. Thank you for uh, watching. Thank you guys for your sweet words of encouragement. Love you lots. And just remember that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.